All right, so good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome back to APCA Malaysia and uh, APCA Philippines, uh, India, uh, everywhere in the world, okay? Uh, today, we're going to go over a, a simple recipe, uh, chocolate raspberry tart. We have a... Uh, with first, we're going to start with the raspberry meringue, all right? So over here, I got some egg white. Then I got my uh, raspberry puree, glucose, egg white powder, and uh, sifted uh, powder sugar, okay? So I'm going to uh, combine my puree and my glucose with the egg white. Then I'm going to add my egg white powder. And I'm going to warm it up to about 40 degrees on a water boil, on a, on a bain marie. I melted that, I warm it up to 40 degrees just so uh, the glucose, to make sure the glucose is fully melted, okay? That's why uh, I go up to 40 degrees. Then also, uh, it will warm up my egg white and make sure they, uh, they get a little bit stiffer than when they are cold. All right, so, all right, so it's at 40, uh, 41 degrees. Then I'm going to whip this to cool. Then I'm going to whip this to a stiff peak, okay? In the meantime, I have a plate, a normal plate, white plate, with a plastic film over, okay? So just to make sure when you set up the plastic, the plastic doesn't touch the bottom of the plate. This will help when we bake this in a microwave. On the side, I'm going to do my croustillant rice crispy, okay? So I have rice krispies. Toasted hazelnut, feuilletine, and over here my milk chocolate. Make sure the milk chocolate is around 35 to 40 degrees, something like this. Okay. Then I'm going to combine everything together. Then the croustillant, we're going to spread it into a uh, ring mold. Alors I use a ring mold like this, but you can use any ring mold. Huh? As long as uh, this one is about 20 centimeters, so that's about the thickness, the, uh, the size that I need. And then you spread it. Try to be as even as possible. Voilà. And then when you spread it, before you remove the ring, try to make a, a circular uh, motion like this, so that way it's easier, it doesn't stick to the edge. Once you get that, uh, then we're going to put this in the fridge, okay? Yeah. Chef, thank you very much. Put it on the fridge there. Hop là. Après, on fait la petite ganache. All right, so the meringue is ready. So this is what we're going to do. I don't know if you can see, but the, mer 
once you get your egg white, then you're gonna fold the powder, the sifted powdered sugar. So I always start with the whisk to break, and then after I finish with the spatula. The meringue, we're going to uh, cook it in a microwave, okay? And it's going to be very quick. And before I cook it, I'm going to pipe it into a, uh, with a round tube. Now when you pipe, give a, little, give, a little, give a little bit of space between each meringue because they're going to expand a little bit in a microwave. Okay. Our microwave, we're gonna go full blast or full power. And then we're going to wait for the meringue to slightly, slightly, slightly uh, puff up, I'm going to say. And then when you, when you bake it in a microwave, what you need to do is when you press, when you put a little bit of pressure on it, it has to make sure that the finger comes out clean. Up. And usually they proof up like this. You can see the difference now. It's slightly, slightly bigger. Okay. And to check if it's cooked or not, then you take your spatula. And then you cut one open. Okay. It has to... So over here you can see it's a little bit firm inside. Alors it's not it's not fully set yet. It's still warm, but you can see it's not ready anymore. So when it's not ready anymore, then you can take it out. And after that, we're gonna put this in a fridge. The meringue has to cool down. Okay, at the moment it's a little bit warm, so it's difficult to handle. Tiens, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Alors, the meringue, we did it with a uh, raspberry puree, but you can do it with any, any puree, uh, any puree, I mean. Uh, mango puree works fine, uh, blueberry puree works good, uh, banana, uh, even the juices can, uh, can work. If you do with uh, juices, then make sure you add a little bit more uh, egg white powder. Uh, coconut doesn't work because of the fat in it, so just so you know. Alors. Then we're gonna make the uh, raspberry uh, raspberry ganache. So I got my melted chocolate over here. Then over here I have the uh, cream, glucose, and honey that I'm going to slightly warm up. Okay, I don't need to. I'm not gonna boil it. So I put everything together. I'm gonna slightly warm it up to about. Uh, allez, mes mères. So I'm gonna go around 30, uh, 35 degrees, okay? 35 to 40 degrees. Same thing with the chocolate. Up. And then...
Voilà, then after I add my raspberry puree. Same thing if you want to use a different puree, it works too. Just the same, uh, same quantity, it's fine. Chef, uh, oui. did you cook the raspberry puree or just use it as it is? Raspberry puree, just as it is. I don't cook the puree because when you cook it, you're going to uh, affect the, uh, the flavor of your puree. So I don't like to, I don't like the cooked uh, puree. My same person has a separate question. They say, uh, if I put my puree in the cream itself when yes. you're cooking, is it fine or it will be a different result? You will have a different result because the acidity of the puree will affect the, the texture of your cream. So it will, uh, uh, it will curdle. Okay, so that's why I don't, that's why I add it separately. Then I had I combine it with my butter, and uh, I'm going to burn mix this. Hold on. Now the burn mixing is going to affect the texture also. You can see over here it's not very um, it's not very well combined together. So by burn mixing it, I'm going to combine it making a little bit smoother and also uh, the elasticity of the ganache will uh, will be nice for the uh, for the piping we're, we're going to do later on With the plastic film, there was a... Somebody took it. Sabotage. Thank you very much, my dear Niklesh. All right, so I'm going to cover it just and put it on the side, okay? No need to put it in the fridge. All right. Then uh, we're going to make the last one, last recipe, which is the uh, milk chocolate chantilly. Alors, the milk chocolate chantilly, we're going to, make, to whip the cream, okay? The cream needs to be whipped uh, soft pick, but at the same time, it has to be very cold. That way. Then I got my chocolate, milk chocolate. Chef, there's a question. Oui. Uh, they say some people have a doubt. They, some chefs, when they say, when they make a meringue, yes. the best thing, use fresh egg. Yes. Some say use one day mature egg. Yes. Or cold egg. So what exactly is the way to use Alors, for, in my opinion, if you uh, if you use uh, old old eggs, then I mean old egg white, you need to make sure that you're gonna cook those egg white or bake those egg white. Okay, for macaron, it's better to have uh, old eggs. Okay. okay, if you use a uh, egg white like we did today, then I use fresh eggs okay. because the the cooking is very limited and. Uh, yeah. I mean, we, we're talking about uh, sanitation there. So if it's old and you eat something old like this, yes, you're going to eat it, but the next day you might not be alive. So if it doesn't go in the oven, then uh, do, not, uh, do not use, uh, uh, sorry, if it doesn't go in the oven, use fresh egg white. If it goes in the oven, you can use old egg white.
Alors for this recipe, what what I really pay attention to is the consistency of the cream. It has to be very uh, very soft, okay? Not over whipped cream, okay? Just like that, uh, like a yogurt consistency. Uh. Then my chocolate needs to be also warm, but not super hot. Uh. Just because we're going to fold it with the uh, with the uh, whipped cream, okay? Right now I'm at 40 degrees, which is fine. The bowl over here needs to be uh, room temperature. Do not take a bowl like this that it's cold, just because the chocolate will set faster in a bowl in a cold bowl, okay? Once you get that, then it's simple. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, cream in it, just to make a uh, some kind of uh, just to temper the chocolate, okay? At the moment, I just want to make sure, I just want to check the temperature of my, uh, of my mix right here. I'm at 26, okay? So I'm okay because I can feel the bowl slightly, slightly warm, so that's fine with me. Then I'm going to add the rest of the cream. Then I'm going to mix it. Or you can do exactly the same way with a, with a dark chocolate and white chocolate. Okay, the ratio of chocolate might be different, but the technique can be the same. It works. Voilà. Ok. So. Piping bag. Tac. Now that's for the ganache that we made earlier. Yeah, it's like a tornado in this uh, in this kitchen. Then, the raspberry three we made earlier. Then the meringue. Tac. So, when you manipulate the meringue, it's good to, uh, it's good to manipulate with a little... Alors, I don't like to use gloves, because the gloves, they, uh, they're, gonna, uh, they're gonna affect the meringue when you're gonna leave some fingerprints. So, what I do is I use some uh, water, or cold, whatever, and I put some water also on the spatula, okay? And then... chocolate chantilly
Én de genes. And we're going to finish with some fresh raspberries. If you do have, if you don't have, that's okay. You can use any berries you want or any fruit, fresh fruit you want. Too much wind over here. Et voilà. De tarte, raspberry, chocolate. You want me to slice it, Chef Niklesh? You don't want to talk? Yes, sure. yes. We slice it or you want to get closer now? You good? Can go closer. Let me know when you're ready. We can? We oui, chef. Huh? No, I got it. Oh, it's a little bit soft, of course, because you just, just made it. So when you do it, uh, it's good to keep it in the fridge for uh, 15, 20 minutes maximum. Okay? Do not keep it longer in the fridge, just because after the chocolate might be uh, too uh, too hard. I mean, not too hard, but too cold to eat. I don't like. I don't like chocolate uh, coming out of the fridge when I eat it. Uh, tiens, mon grand. Uh, the cut is not, uh, it's not the best. Okay. Wrap it up. All right, so thank you everybody for joining us today. Uh, we're looking forward to see you again tomorrow with some uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful decoration and uh, beautiful pastries and uh, savory food made by our chefs. The, you can uh, find the recipe on uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us. We'll be happy to help you if you have any questions. Okay, thank you. And a bon appétit.